Seraphine is one of the most beloved champions. <laughs> Seraphine is one of the most beloved champions in League of Legends, as we can tell by the community reaction and Seraphine's ban race across all ranks. As it turns out though, I'm a Skarna player, so naturally, I adore Seraphine and her lore, and hope all Brecker and Kind can become skateboards one day as well. Like many fellow Skarna players, I'm sure we would all want to be stepped on by Queen Seraphine. <laughs> I can't fucking do this anymore. As I've shown you, Seraphine has the fourth highest ban rate at the time of writing this video. Her win rates from Diamond and Master are above 50%, but drop off sharply at Challenger. Champions like Fresh soar above her. Among the lower ranks, the win rate varies, even having a negative win rate in Iron, but still the 12th highest win rate there regardless. To the average player, Seraphine is sometimes referred to as a power crept Sona, reworked Sona, and so on. Her ultimates can be seen as a better Sona ult with its much longer range, especially after hitting a champion, and it is a kind of a bit wider, I think, with a long charm rather than a stun. It's a slower projectile than Sona, but not everyone at the average level has a focus, reaction time, or gaming chair to dodge or position around that most of the time. Thus, it makes sense that she would have a higher ban rate at lower elo. But fourth highest ban rate? I think something else is at work here. So, Seraphine Law sucks. I know it, you know it, but you know what? Neither of us have probably read it. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. Maybe a YouTube video has paraphrased the lore for you. We've come to expect high quality writing from Riot, who release champions like this guy. When you read Jin's lore, you feel their personality. When you play the champion and hear their quotes, you live the character. Surely Riot Seraphine is just a case of overreaction and is actually a masterwork. People are probably just nitpicking and biased as usual. So what is Seraphine's Law? Like many others before me, I'll paraphrase it to you, but hopefully as objectively and fairly as I can. Seraphine's parents moved from Zorn to Piltover wishing the best for Seraphine. Seraphine could hear people's thoughts, or more specifically, their troubles, worries, and in Riot's words, their songs. As she grew up, this gift of hers became much stronger, and began to overwhelm and terrify her as she wishes she couldn't hear it anymore. Think Mal from Code Geass, basically without the headphones. Speaking of headphones, her parents, wanting the best for Seraphine, invested a lot of money into a rare crystal that they used, like these crystals are used for a lot of Hextech, to power a device. This device, like Mal's headphones, helps to repress Seraphine's gift, giving her silence compared to what she was suffering from before then. However, she could still hear something, someone, a voice. A song of great history and faraway deserts, and written by Riot as of Brackern blood, implying she knows from her gift and her meeting with this crystal that it is a Brackern, a living thing. Maybe anyway, more on that later. Seraphine worried in the silence that she may have no voice of her own, and awed by the crystal, she asked it for guidance and it replied, we are all forged through others' voices. Slowly, she learned to manage the noise, and the Brecken crystal taught her to resonate with a crowd, essentially helping her learn to sing and to perform to audiences. And she began to use the device less and less in order to hear the crowd better and understand them. She would become one of the best performers in Pilsover, but she felt something missing. So she returned to Zorn. Zorn was much darker, and mostly she heard their fear, their pain, and their hatred of the Piltovens above. She tried to sing for them, yet no matter what, Zorn would reply, it's not that simple, to mend their relationship with Pilsover. The crystal spoke of what hatred left unchecked could accomplish, and Seraphine couldn't let that happen, so she decides to call upon her parents' aid in order to dismantle the dampener device, instead placing the crystal in her platform stage so she can ride it around, it amplifies her music and songs, and amplify her gifts of hearing the songs of the people. And then the cities all clapped. Now that doesn't read that bad, she just wants to help cities come together in unity through her songs. She cares so much about the Zornite and Piltoven people alike, so why doesn't she care about the Brecken? The crystal spoke to her, or sung an elegy in the fixed lore, so we know that it wants to unite the people too, so it's totally on board with Seraphine's calls, right? Get it? On board? Because she just forced it into her fucking skateboard. Rewording it to sing an elegy rather than speak directly to Seraphine actually makes it less personal, so it seems even more against the will of the Brecken soul, to be honest. It doesn't show any resistance, sure, but can it even do that? And if you were forced in a situation where you can't move and all you can feel is negativity in a crowd aimed at its neighbouring city, 
wouldn't you want it to be resolved as well? Therefore, this Brecon has no free will. And that's not a race trait. Skarner wants to reclaim the stolen Brecon crystals and safeguard them, so he'd probably murder Seraphine on sight. Seraphine's response to the crystal warning her about hatred left unchecked motivates her specifically by and, Riot wrote, she couldn't let that happen to the cities she loved. Now, you might call this reading too deep into it, but notice how it's cities and not the people or city people. Typically, uh, cities does refer to the people inside them as well, but this could be deliberate, you know? Since she didn't seem to care about the Brecon either. So she uses this stolen ancient being to amplify her skateboard for her own gain and ultimately selfish reasons. Now, hold on. I guess she couldn't have known that the Brecon are living beings. Maybe she simply thinks it's some kind of Hextech AI or something. The Brecon fuel our city, our future. Okay. So she does know, and she knows they're literally everywhere, practically enslaved, living creatures. Okay. Okay, okay. Right. But she maybe thinks that the Brecon are happy to work for Piltover, since I mean her own Brecon doesn't seem to care, and she even notices that Caitlyn's rifle seems to like her. I mean, what choice does it have anyway? But I'm sure she bears no ill will. I miss your kind too, Skarner. Would you like to hear their song? Seraphine is one of the most hated champions in League of Legends, and it's no wonder she's the fourth most banned champion at time of writing this video, since it not only shows that she has no care for the Brecon, but even Riot has no care for the Brecon, or they were completely ignorant to how Seraphine would be perceived given this writing like that. Anyway, trash talking about Seraphine's law is beating a very dead horse, so happy April Fools, and not gonna lie, hope I had you in the first half. A song of great history and faraway deserts. <laughs>